So this is how they eat Italian food in Italy. This is how we eat Italian food in America. If you're one of the thousand people who's... So do you even have... Let me... Sorry. Gross. If you're one of the thousand people who spent $100 on unlimited pasta from Olive Garden for the next seven weeks, you can eat like an ugly American every day of the week. You're so big! If you could have an unlimited amount of any food from any restaurant, what would it be? Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Buongiorno, Slater Crusaders. This is the show where we talk about something important, something that'll make you smart, something that'll make you feel good. Today, we've got missing emails, we've got how to be a millionaire, and an absolutely amazing family, which actually kind of keeps the theme of our feel-good stories of the last couple of days. And also, we have that stupid salting challenge. Thank you, New York Giants. We like to call this show, Here's What's Up. First question, did the IRS target conservative groups for audits? If you think no, you think this is just some Republicans making much to do about nothing, then how do you explain the IRS losing emails? Just entire email accounts gone. And also, just the other day, the IRS admitted that they lost the emails of five more key employees, including Lois Lerner's aide. Also, not only have the emails been lost, but the computer hard drives thrown away. Hey, but it's okay, because when the IRS comes a knocking on your door asking for receipts from seven years ago, I think we all know what to tell them now. Quick question, though. If the NSA records every phone call and has all of our emails, can't we just ask the NSA to pull out those lost emails from the IRS? So this is a graph of how long it takes the average household to earn a million dollars in different countries around the world. So you can see in the United States, it takes the average household about 20 years to earn a million dollars. Hey, Mexico, what are you doing down there? 200 years, huh? Oh, nice. To put this in easier to understand terms, here is an aerial view of a beach in Italy. Meanwhile, in Mexico. All right, we have a bonus smart story for you today. Why does everyone say ISIS and the president says ISIL? ISIS stands for the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. ISIL stands for the Islamic State of Iraq and Le Le Levant? The Levant describes just this entire area right here. The president says ISIL because he doesn't want to say Syria. Now, while we're arguing over ISIS versus ISIL, they've gone ahead and changed their name to IS, Islamic State, because they want to take over the whole world. I saw his picture one day and I couldn't take my eyes off him. Yeah. He was just, I just loved him the moment I saw him and I just knew, I just knew. A lot of parents say that when they're looking to adopt a baby. The only difference here is their new son was born with no arms or legs. This kid is awesome. Look at him. He's, he's unbelievable. And not only is he unbelievable, but his parents are saints. The entire video of five-year-old Devin is in the description below. You have to watch it. Thank you, Slider Crusaders, for watching. Now you know what's important. Know you're a little smarter, and hopefully you feel good as well. We're going to be back here on Friday. Our last video on amnesty is right here. You can check out the Liberty Tree app right here, and our daily daily radio show is right over there. <laughs> and yes, the stupid giants lost. Thank you, Eli. Now we have to do the saltine challenge. Six saltine crackers in 60 seconds. Ready? Our PSA of the day, don't ever do that. Also, if you ever get invited to the White House by President Obama, what would you do? Leave your answer in the comment below. I was never sure what I would do until now. This kid is my hero. This kid, the honey badger of White House visitors.